Hey, what's up everyone? So I did want to talk about this topic since I feel strongly that lots of people are still really aggravated against current DC because of certain aspects of not continuing a storyline and the potential of seeing this grand battle happening on the big screen where, yeah, I, I do see the complaints. I do see how people can see that as, come on, how can you not still be interested in seeing that or how can you not say that would have been you know glor glorious to see now I, I even though i do agree and i would have supported it at the same time i hate seeing this um current trend where the dcu you know universe yet to be yes we have some projects um already finished we have some projects that are being um put together currently but people tend to, and yes, I, I understand that um, it's mostly like one-sided crowd that I just cannot stop talking about since, you know, they're always behind the scenes when it comes to like negative DC online discourse. Unfortunately, that's the case. Majority of the time, it's always the same fan base. And even though I do agree that Possibly, um, they probably should have just let it continue during the time where it made sense and the DCU was still intact. But now that the universe is dead and rebooted, you know, it's 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 kind of like <laughs> I don't want to be a jerk about it, but it's pretty stupid to say that um, to say that something could continue in the future or to or to still linger on in your feelings about not getting what you want. Because life isn't fair and it happens all the time. And plus it's all fiction stuff anyway. You can see it in other media. <laughs> and I know, I know lots of people definitely get mad with those words. But uh, going to going to the actual statement where I, where I keep seeing this recurring theme. Where it's like, we, we were going to see Justice League versus Darkseid in live action on the big screen for a potential Justice League 2. And because of that. Going from that to going to, to a new continuity, the DCU, and starting fresh with like all these other projects, all these other versions of characters, people see that as inferior or lesser, or they, they think that, that it can't measure up to the hype or the potential um glory that would have commenced with um showcasing that that um storyline. And I've said it numerous times, I, I would have supported it. It would have seemed cool. I definitely was more interested in it based on the original um, Just League film. Not the 2017 one, the Snyder Cut version of it. And I said, yeah, I mean, based on how it, it leaves off, I, I definitely was locked in and engaged. Even though I knew for a fact that um, it was going to be over after that since they already confirmed it. But I said possibly if everything goes right with streaming numbers and potential fan interest. Yeah, but like everything went wrong, especially online. Like the online discourse was not worth continuing anything. And the actual financial um, failures and lack of success of the universe overall is like, yeah, of course you're not going to finance anything else from this universe. That's what people had to understand. You could say this isn't real DC or or, or or we don't like these films or we only want one proper director to do to do everything. We had to understand this all falls under the same category. All these you all these um films are under the same franchise. So if a bunch of films start doing bad, of course they're not gonna make any more because they're gonna think that the executives at WB, well at the time WB, now DC Studios is its own entity, but at the time are gonna say, Yeah, no nobody wants to be invested in this universe, no one cares about this universe, so it's like <laughs> that logic you have to really um, think about, especially if you're trying to boycott shit. Because I, re I remember all those years. Um, again, I, I could care less, to be honest with you. It's, it's all in the past, but trust me, those people, a bunch of them, did not deserve shit. So I'm happy um, for the win. But um, but going to that, because I've seen it numerous times from from you know people of, of those crowds, especially like the more. Um, the more cultish side of, of you know, um, that fan base, where it's like, they'll say, they'll say um, we were going to get Dark Side versus Justice League, but now we got something like Creature Commandos 
or, or something like Waller or Peacemaker Season 2, because I've seen it numerous times. And you know what I hate about that narrative? Because I should discuss this in the same video. That narrative about, you know, we were going to get something so big in scale, but now we got something lesser, like a cartoon or, or Peacemaker Season 2, even though it's like, well, that's a popular show that had good numbers, you know, on, on Max. Or um, a Water, a Amanda Water TV show. Like how that's 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 a downgrade. I can't believe it. DC are a bunch of idiots. James Gunn doesn't know what he's doing. You know what I hate about that narrative. That narrative is because they pick and choose. I've seen it numerous times, and I caught it out numerous times as well. Where it's like, because I'll say this before I even get to the, the narrative. I, I feel like even though you had interest in that, doesn't mean lots of other people did. And even with that. Because I, I definitely um, made sure to, to, to have the title of, of this video um, to make sure it was, it was it made sense where it's like there, there's bigger things in DC than just one storyline we've seen numerous times in media. Because we, we've seen it numerous times in animated films and comics and cartoons, the Just League versus Dark Side, stuff with Apocalypse. It's like, come on, we've seen it numerous times. And yes, a live action and a blockbuster film would, be, would have been cool. But I, I feel like that definitely, you know, DC is bigger than just one villain and one storyline. And it's like the fact that people don't understand that because it's like, is that all you want from DC? Like, like I get it, your, your fave director or whatever it was going to construct this. But it's like, it, it makes me, it just gets, gets off the energy that, you know, that's the only thing I care about. DC, his characters, his plot lines, his stories, you know, this, this immersive and massive world from the comics doesn't matter to me. I just want what I want and everything else. I mean, the, the fact they'll go into detail about, you know, all these films or, or all these shows should not exist because it's like, you know where to finance, finance the money. <laughs> I'm not going to get to that, but it's like, look, man, um... I, w I wasn't pulling any punches when I talked about this last time when I made my Superman video where it's like it did have its chance. Lots of people and the majority didn't like it. Yes, you could say uh, financially it, it wasn't bad. It, it was good. But it's like was it, I mean the reception and the word of mouth which is so terrible for certain aspects at least where it's like <laughs> no people even if this would have been good, it would have been like, well, okay, first of all, get, I mean, that, 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 that budget would be insane, but it's like, um, after that, what, you know, <laughs> that was supposed to be the conclusion anyway, if you do a second film or a potential third film, I, I, I don't even remember anymore, but it's like, no, trust me. I, I think at the time DC's reputation, it was, it really was not worth it, especially with WB being in debt and all that stuff. It's still in debt right now. But um, going back to the narrative where it's like, yeah, they, they like picking and choosing. Even though those projects very much could be good. A Water Show, Creature Commandos. Or, or, I mean, Creature Commandos is coming out in a few months. Um, Superman's already done. And, and actually, some ways to my, my actual um, reason as to mention um, that narrative where it's like, they, they never mention, as far as I've seen, the, the extremists, cultish um snyder fans you know i, I had to officially um use the title they never mentioned stuff like superman 2025 you know um they never mentioned because again that's what people have been wanting a superman film and as far as i know the superman film definitely is gonna be great in scale they every comic accurate they every uh, something that people wanted from from the man of steel in a while we're getting um batman Brave and the Bold, a Bat Family movie. Damian Wayne is Robin. Potentially Nightwing will show up as well. I mean, I, I don't doubt it since Damian Wayne's already Robin. So yeah, people definitely wanted a, a Batman movie. And we'll see how that turns out. We're getting a Green Lantern show with with um, with um, Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be on HBO. I don't know. HBO Max? I, I, I don't know which one. Uh, but that's something that people have been wanting. We, we, we have been wanting Green Lantern content for fucking years, man. <laughs> the DCEU didn't do shit. Um, but we got that as well. We got a Supergirl movie that would be um, in pre-production soon. I mean, imagine that. That's something that we never would have thought would happen. But now we're getting a big blockbuster Supergirl film. 
um, a, a T Titus film. We're just like, we definitely need that, man. <laughs> uh, so it's like all these wonderful projects and and stuff that fans will definitely be invested in. And the the fact that they don't want to highlight any of that stuff because they know for a fact, yeah, that's true. That's that. I, I'm sorry, but you know, not. I don't want to be cruel, but I just had this pretty much stated numerous times where it's like I care more about a actual coherent and competent universe that 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 expands in terms of lore, mythos, character, um, all that stuff than a a battle with dark side and justice league and that's it especially from a universe that that should have been dead years before that but um but that's that's the way i see it where it's like you know i'm, I'm sorry but rarity does matter having range and it's like just focusing or pinpointing on one thing for what even if you did get that at the time then what you know it's it's over the shit you want is over the, the the DCU just would have moved on to like whatever else they were trying to tell, you know, like the next big story or whatever. But with this um fresh start, we have enough time to build out a story. We have enough time to flesh out characters. Again, the lore, the backstory. And since we have all this stuff, it's like, yeah, there's lots of stuff that fans could be interested. In. You don't have to be interested in all of it. But since there's, there's, enough, there's enough stuff being made... Is that you, you'll, you'll get to pick and choose what you're interested in. Instead of choosing a, a one film over a whole universe. That's something I have. It baffles me. One film over a, a, a potential good universe. Like, come on, man. Hell no. You know, you got to be warped. <laughs> and I know people are going to have issues with my, with my um, sentences throughout this video. But it's true. Like, come on, man. I would not pick that at all no matter how good it could have been it's like i i, I care more about with dc as a whole than there's something like that and you know some people would disagree it is what it is but that's how i feel at least 